Hi and welcome back to Quilma Pop Creations tutorial videos and today is going to be another uh, piece of our beading circle session um, with our Zoom class. And we I taught how to bead a medallion for my group. We I used size 11 seed beads, size 0 Nymo beading thread, size 11 John James beading needles, um, Pellon, and uh, sketch pad paper with the design that I have, and I'll have a, a, P, a link to the PDF in the description. So we're going to start this design with just one bead. That's how you start a rosette. And your first row will be seven beads. And then I go back through the first two beads that I put on so that's going to give me a tight circle around that one bead. Um, I see patterns that have eight beads but it just doesn't set right. Seven beads <coughs> fits nice and tight right around that one bead. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I do a tack down every two beads. And then our next row, the, after our second row, is going to be um, where we start to design. So eight black and eight white will be that row that comes around. Um, that's going to be the start of our feather design. Go back through the first two. And go right down in to where your needle comes out. And that should just sit perfect, and I'm just going to go ahead and tack that row down every two beads. Two needle method, so I have one needle for my beads and one needle to tack down. <coughs> and that's our start of the design, and we're just going to continue going around. Um, other designs, if you want to be able to keep uh, in line you can just put your four center lines out there to keep the design but now we're going to start increasing the white beads to continue with that feather but we're going to make sure that we always concentrate on lining up the black beads that's more important than I'm going to keep those black lines straight. So I'm going to go back through the, I go back through the first two beads that I put on. And then just go down right where that, where you come up at. And just tack that row down. going through every two beads and <clears throat> making sure that we have that the black lines stay straight so and then we're just going to continue increasing those white beads every row and going through that first two beads Get that lined up there, keeping those black black rows lined up and straight. And the white beads, um, there may be some space and gaps in there, but you won't be able to tell. And that's one thing about beading in a circle is you don't want to get it too tight and too bunched up. Um, it, the beads don't lay right, and you can't always see the gap. Alright, so we're going to continue on, and when we do the black rows, we're going to concentrate those three, um, and con then concentrate on that point. So when we add the three yellow, we're going to make sure we have that black centered, and then the three will 
just sit where they sit and not worry about a gap if there's one um, because you want that three three yellow three black three yellow and making sure you're concentrating on the black to be in place um, but to make that point um, so you want your black beads to always start decreasing so once you get the yellow set in there and you start decreasing the point you'll just fill in whatever number of beads um, you need between the points at that point it won't matter how many beads you use so when you finish that and you'll put a backing on with the pico edge and make some peyote i mean i'm sorry porcupine quill feathers um uh, so i'm going to go in between the layers and come out to start my daisy chain necklace we're going to um, kind of put it where we want it to be centered at where on our necklace and can attach it right to the medallion um, with um, st starting with uh, it won't be a full circle daisy chain to begin with but we're just going to have eight beads to make an arch so eight beads to start I mean sorry I'm sorry six beads to start <laughs> sorry about that I'm going to go up through the layers and come out where um, it's spaced so that my six beads sit in that arch. I'll go back through those layers and come out right where my arch started and I'll go back up through three which I'll be coming from the right into the center of the top two beads. And then that will be where I start my daisy chain. So to do daisy chain, we're gonna do six beads because the daisy you know, it was eight beads, so we're going to use the top two of the first one. Go from right into the center. And then put one bead, which you'll go up and go from the center out to the left. That the bead will lay, and we'll set right in the middle and we'll lay flat. And you always want to go in the same direction so it will look uniform. And you won't have a problem with that. So let's uh, put on six more beads. And we will go from the outside into the center. And we'll come up through. And put your one bead in the center by going from the center and counting one, two, three, four, because we have the eight beads on there now. Center to the left. And that bead will just lay right in there. And then we'll go up and put our next six beads on. We're gonna start our color so we're gonna have two white two black and two white that starts the point of our chevron design um, and then the center is a black bead and you're gonna go from the center out to the left and that black bead that sets in the center will become the point of that black piece of your Chevron design on the chain and so we have now we're gonna 
um, use our shading colors. So we'll have two black, two blue, and two black. And we'll go from the outside into the center. And then our center bead will be blue. Starts that next point. So that's your chevron. That's how your chevron goes. And then we're going to attach the porcupine quill feather into um, the necklace. And so you can find my video. I'll put a link in the description for my porcupine quill earrings. Um, I mean feathers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> porcupine coal feathers that I'm going to attach in here and I made five of them um, and they set right in there and the necklace is on both sides so what we're going to do is we're going to use the three tip beads of the porcupine quill feather so there's two so we'll have two white beads go through the two on the tip of the porcupine quill feather and then two more white beads to go from the right into the center. And then there will be one bead that is the tip of that feather. And that one bead will be used as the center of that daisy chain. So go through that black, one black bead. And then once you go through that one black bead, we're going to go up through the porcupine quill. And it's easier if you use some pliers to push it through. It goes in a lot easier than using your hands or fingers. And so we'll um, pull that all the way through. Make sure that your porcupine quill is even with the white beads. Then we go through the center of the porcupine quill, out through the one white bead that's there. That's at the top of the feather. Make sure that your porcupine quill is flat and coming out. And then you're going to, I put a, a little color loop on my, as my first daisy chain. So I put those colors on, go from the right to the center. Uh, put a white in the center of that going from the center out and then that's kind of like a colored loop on the top of my feather and then I just continue on with the chevron design going in the other direction which I would put on six of the color Six the next color and then my center bead would be the point and then I added a clasp and then added the other three porcupine quilt feathers as fringe so I put on some beads went from the inside attached it came back out went through the beads I made a fringe back down to the porcupine quilt feather go through the quill. Now I went through the layers of that, the medallion, to go in between and then come out through the leather. And then went back in, just like I did with the necklace part. So I'm going to pull that and make sure that it's uh, just kind of snug not too tight, careful of the tension so it'll hang good. And then I just weaved my threads back and forth through the black part of the tip of the feather. Add two more feathers as the fringe. And there is your medallion with the daisy chain porcupine quill feather necklace. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a nice beading session. Um, stop by and join our creation corner beading circle please answer all the questions or you won't be allowed in or you can visit my website at www.kunawapawcreations.com so thanks for stopping by see you next time